my first time, so, uh, the episodes of Episode Gladiolus occur during the story of Final Fantasy XV, completing the game first, recommended. Uh, no, I have actually beaten this before, so, beaten the game, I've never played the DLC, so, the see. see how this goes. I don't really know what to expect. I haven't played any of the DLCs, so. After suffering a humble defeat at the hands of Ravis, Gladiolus embarks on a journey of self-discovery. Destination, the Tempering Grounds, where he seeks to undertake a trial of body and mind that has heretofore afforded but a sole survivor. I'm stuffed. My compliments to the chef. My pleasure. Did you enjoy your time with the marshal? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, what's that thing on your face? This? Yeah, X marks the spot. That's nah, just a scratch. The other guy got off a lot worse. Worse than looking like some kind of thug? Hmm. Speaking of which, who was this other guy? <sighs> they call him... The Blade Master. Are you kidding me? That is a ridiculous name. Um, like, what, what do I need a combat tutorial for? Oh, okay? Just because I'm, I'm kind of confused why it would even ask me. Oh, Jesus. Striking and blocking as Gladiolus differs from attacking and defending as Noctis, while other general actions such as moving and using items remain the same. Circle is strike. Press square to block incoming attacks. Block just before an attack lands to topple the enemy, creating an opening for a counter strike. You can also hold square to focus and block attacks, but Gladiolus will be vulnerable if he loses his focus. Okay. Okay, fo focus is the blue bar at the bottom. Uh, when Gladiolus' valor is high, press triangle to perform one of his glaive arts. Okay. Alright, so that's just like his technique, I guess. Kind of. I'll block five enemy attacks. Okay. Or is that something I already did, maybe? Ooh, I have a rage meter, too. Okay, success. There we go. Uh, when Gladiolus' Valor... Okay, I already knew that. Okay. Uh, blocking attacks and taking damage increases Gladiolus's rage. Strikes will do more damage as his rage builds. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it does a lot more damage. Okay. Yeah, who do you think it is? <laughs> Catch you at a bad time. Are you here yet? Yeah, I'm at the crow's nest. Good. Thanks for agreeing to meet with me. Sure. So, are you ready to move out? Of course. <sighs> but what about you? Are you mentally prepared? Of course. I'll be right over. Okay. So we're hanging out in core, huh? That's cool. About time. What'll it be? Just the water's fine. Thanks. Allow me to ask you once more. Are you sure you're ready to take on the Blade Master? I went up against the High Commander and got my ass handed to me. I didn't stand a chance. And I never will unless I get more power. Then answer my question. Are you ready or not? <laughs> you think I would have called you here if I weren't? So you're ready to face death. <gasps> Gilgamesh awaits challengers in the deepest recesses of those ruins. It's been 30 years since we uncovered the caves. We've sent countless expeditions. But all of our efforts have afforded us no rewards. And no survivors. Except for you. You undertook the trial. And you made it back alive. Barely. Let's move. Ooh. Oh, Gilgamesh. Did you tell your friends why you were taking off? Just said it was business. Didn't want him getting all worried about me. <laughs> or knowing your pride took a beating. So Kor is the only one that's done this and survived. And, uh... Seems like he... All right. Barely made this. it through. No turning back now. Oh shit, look at all the bodies. Look at this poor bastard right here. He got pinned by his feet with a sword. That's how this is gonna go. Why? To test those determined to become the king's shield and prepare them. To inherit the power they pursue. The Blade Master's men have sworn their loyalty both before and beyond the grave, scaring off the unworthy. Then they better prepare for disappointment. Let me see. Horn and fast! Pathetic. This music's sick. Oh, yeah, I can still do blindsides and stuff. Okay. Too slow. It's all yours, Marshal. Well, don't mind if I do. Oh.
guess I didn't think to check. Gladiolus can equip a variety of gear. And by a variety of gear, we mean nothing. He can he can only equip uh, his sword. And same with core. I have a couple potions. My health doesn't regenerate either, does it? Interesting. The way to go is down. What the fuck is that? He ain't going down without a fight. Huh? Oh. That's terrifying. You come to prove yourself worthy of my mental. He only has one arm, which means he only I needs do. one arm to kick my ass. I am here to undertake the trial of Gilgamesh. And what is it you hope to glean? And you're gonna give it to me. Is that so? Oh shit. Uh so I don't think I'm supposed to win this. Yeah. You saying I don't? A great evil threatens the people of your world. It is but the king of kings and his shield who can safeguard their lives. All those unworthy or unwilling to rise to the task meet their end here, by my blade. I ain't meeting mine anytime soon. This trial has me begun. If you do not fear death, then go forth with reckless abandon and prove your worth. <sighs> You are ready for this. In that case, let the trials begin. So the Blade Master, he's a master of blades. What, were you expecting something profound? See if there's any items or whatever. Potion. 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 Probably just wasted that potion. Load off. Yeah. Might as well take a break. 
Oh, well. Of course, he's eating cup noodles. Sure. The Blade Master isn't here to train you. He's here to test you. He won't go easy on you just because you joined the Crown's Guard. So, no mercy for newbies like me. So what? The weak aren't worthy of serving as shield? In his eyes, the weak aren't worthy of living. All of them are fools, punished for aspiring beyond their station. I was a fool back then, too. And I was punished. But you weren't killed. Maybe you weren't worthy of serving a shield. But he must have seen you as worthy of living. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. Let's go. So, I mean... Keep your eyes and ears open. Done and done. Of course, survived, but he didn't win. to defeat the darkness but do you have the spirit to survive these trials must have just fucked him up it does seem kind of weird though that um Gladio's taking these trials but Kor's helping him that seemed kind of cheap in the, the point of the trial you know Not good. They keep on coming. oh it's over too slow just like I tried you Ready? Where and to go? Nice. At least Gladio swings the fucking sword a lot faster than Noctis does. Noctis swings that big sword so slow. What's this? A trial chamber. The hand holding stops here. Good luck. No 
more core. Prepare yourself, young warrior, for the trials that await. Prove your might, and our power shall be yours. Not really sure what that was, but. Gladiolus has completed the first of the soul's trials. He can now perform blocks capable of withstanding the mightiest of blows, even those dealt by the blade master himself. Oh, Stand good. Tall, for the shield of the king must kneel in subjugation before no man. Thanks for the advice, and for the pick me up. Yeah, because that was, uh. One thing I noticed when I fought him, I couldn't block any of his attacks earlier. Well, you made it out alive. Your first trial may have ended, but many more await you on your road to an audience with the Blade Master. Prepare yourself. Another rest uh, spot. Time to take a load off. Better rest here while I can. Okay. My father never undertook the trial of Gilgamesh, did he? No. You want to know why? Sure. I do. I mean, it can't be because he was scared, right? Not of the trial. He was scared of failing as leader of the Crown's Guard, and as Shield of the King. He couldn't leave His Majesty alone, weakened by the wall as he was. After all, what good is a shield with no one to protect? What about you? Worried about leaving your Majesty alone? A little. But I'm gonna do what's right for me, like my father did what was right for him. <sighs> Back to the trials. has it been since you undertook the trial? 30 years or so? Give or take. I was a lot younger than you are, and far less experienced. Hey, he doesn't look like he's so that old. I even made it out alive. This place look familiar to you? Vaguely. The younger me had little mind for taking in the sights. I got that food boost from 
the cup of noodles too. Uh, pull crumbling columns from the ground and swing them to topple even the fiercest foes. Okay. Pathetic. Oh, okay. Well, that seemed kind of cheap. Oh, it, it must want me to do that. Because I did like no damage. Pathetic. Okay. Yeah, because even Core is not doing that much damage. Okay. There. I was gonna say, how do I put it down? Potion. Another trial chamber, and another chance for the warriors to impart their wisdom. It won't come easy, though. You'll have to earn it. So I guess each one of these trials is going to make me a little bit stronger to where I can beat Gilgamesh, probably. Great, a dragon. How many moons has it been since our last visitor? Far more than I can count. <laughs> Let us see how our latest challenger will fare. Can't really fucking tell when he's attacking and when he's just walking. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, just punch him. All right. There you go. Punch him, punch him, punch him, sword. Nice. Ah. That little spin right there that he does. There we go. Okay. I could have done that a lot faster. I had, like, no rage that entire time because he kept hitting me when he would move.
I mean, I guess I could have used this pillar too, but he probably would have beat the shit out of me before I could pick it up, so. Venture forth, young warrior, bearing our hopes and dreams. Uh, Gladiolus has completed the second of the Souls Trials. He can now perform the Maelstrom Glaive art when his valor is high. For the shield of the king must safeguard our future. Okay, that was pretty cool. The skills shared by these souls have been passed down for generations. The shield of the king would do well if it was a good use. to the next trial. I can do that. Oh, Sean. Oh, oh, okay, some wacky ass sliding going on there. That fucking pushing X and then they jump instead of picking stuff up. Ugh. It's frustrating. You know? It won't let me pick up the pillar now. So. Oh, I can only do it from this side. Apparently. There we go. I potion. Thousands set foot on these grounds, all of them fools, unprepared for the dangers lurking within. They all meet with the same fate, as will you. I don't think so. Think what you may, but I know otherwise. The Lucis you call home is nothing like the Lucis I once served. Your age has forgotten the horrors of war, coddled by the king and drunk off the complacency of peace. No shield worthy of defending the true king could be born from such depravity. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Look on the bright side. Everyone loves an underdog. Hmm. So was that one of the spirits or was that Gilgamesh that said that? I'm not sure. What? Oh, is that another Bandersnatch? I think it is. Probably better heal. Can I get this in time? Baby. Somehow he missed. I have no idea how, but... Oh, I 
was just a tiny bit away from having Maelstrom. I thought it was, I thought it was up, so I did it. It was still Tempest. Ow, something hit me. Can't see. If Gladiolus tries to block a guard breaking foe's attack, his shield will shatter and he will take damage. Okay. So that's when they're red, I guess. Nice. Horde just fucked that thing up. But what? It went underneath of me. That was weird. Know thine enemy. Stand tall, even when your flesh fails you, or will you fall to your knees? That is so awful. I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up, and he just jumps in the air like a dumbass. Ugh. There we go. Can't get through its body. There we go. What's up here? Oh, I know I'm supposed to go up. I don't know why I thought this was an opening. Okay. Up we go then. Well, take a break. Rest up while you got the chance. Yeah, good idea. I'll save. Never thought I'd make my way back to the tempering grounds. You said it's been 30 years. Were you as immortal then as you are now? If you want to know, I'll talk. I mean, I asked, so... The Blade Master. What was he like? I don't remember much, except for those eyes. They pierced my heart and peered right into my soul. It was like she knew my every move even before I did. Try as you may, there's no fooling those eyes. <laughs> we'll see about that. <sighs> Whenever you're ready. Okay. Must boast muscle and metal, both finely tempered. Should he lack either, the shield will shatter. 
A lot of dead people in here. The good thing is I can block that and I can use it to build up rage like pretty significantly. Oh Jesus, there's a bunch of shit back here too. Ultimate trial awaits. Prove to them you are prepared to serve as the shield of the chosen. Ah, uh, fucking poisoned. I don't have an antidote. Poison sucked. Take a potion before this next trial. Be true, for the shield of the king must deceive none, not even himself. Yeah. Easier said than done. Phoenix down. Not gonna do much good on a one one v one, I don't think. Iron Giant. The shield is bold, shrinking before none. Okay. Waste not the ultimate of the ass. At least his sword swing is. Never mind. Because at least he's easy to counter, but. Alright. I need to. There we go. I need to be a little more uh, defensive, I think. There we go. I'm going in like way too hard, so. Hit him with the mouse from. Counter, nice. Oh shit, you 
can't block the red attacks. Uh, pretty sure I dodged that, but you know. Red attack, god damn it. Oh god. Come on. Just, we just hanging out? Okay. <laughs> I think he just kind of gave up. He's like, yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna stand here. Okay. Interesting. Now not but the final trial awaits you. Okay. Home stretch. Uh, Gladiolus has completed the third of the soul's trials, and Aura envelops his blade, allowing him to deal damage to Gilgamesh. Nice work. Maybe you've got what it takes after all. Maybe. But it ain't for you or me to decide. True. And the Blade Master is a more formidable foe than any you faced thus far. <sighs> Time to take a load off. Okay. Gilgamesh is next, I guess. Well, what about you? I want to know what was going through your head back then. You that interested in me? Every time I ask you a question, you're like, Are you sure you want me to tell you? Wouldn't ask. I mean, you were a lot younger than I am. And a lot brasher, too, if you can believe it. Wouldn't listen to a single word anyone said. I thought I was invincible. No one could stop me. Until he cut me down to size. I was cast out in defeat. My hubris laid bare for all to see. You really are immortal, they said. And it stuck. That's rough. Still, you made it back alive, something no one else has ever done. And I respect that. Let's go. I'm curious why he didn't kill him then. If he's killed everyone else, it is kind of weird he just let Kor go. Come here to die, have you? You looking to die again? You amuse, but do not impress. You lack his conviction. Who's? He who traversed these caves some thirty years ago. Turning a deaf ear to our wails and wishes, he proceeded unfazed, eyes ever forward. Yet he proved powerless before the general, cast out in defeat. If even he could not succeed, I see no hope for you. Clarus would have tried to stop you, you know. Just like he tried to stop me. All those years ago. How come? Because one aspiring to the role of King's shield can stake his life for none but his leech. Not even for himself. Do you dare risk all for naught in return? His words stayed with me. And he was right. I barely made it back with nothing to show for it. So you're gonna stop me? No, I won't. 
But I will warn you one last time of the danger you're about to face. Just like your father warned me. Once you set foot through that door, there's no turning back. And no one to help you if you fall. One false step and it may prove your last. I'll be fine. Maybe I'll come back with a souvenir. I mean, with a mullet like that, how can you lose? I mean... Just come back alive. Be safe, Gladio. Okay, well, he completely handed me my ass the first time. I can feel his presence. You better be ready for me. So I'm not really sure how this is going to play out. There he is. I'm here. Brandishing your brute force. Yeah. Let's see if you can handle it. Okay, but... They made him a little bit weaker, and I can actually block now, so... Oh, Can't block the red. I always forget that. Since it, it wasn't a mechanic in the... In the normal game. Oh. Blind reliance on strength alone. Disappointments make their end here. And so shall you. No. I didn't come here to die. I came here to prove to you I'm worthy. Dude, that did a shitload of damage. I like this fight though. Uh oh. You are strong, yet so long as fear abides. Oh, now he's got two arms. Great. The power you possess is wasted on you. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve too. Ain't no way I'm backing down now. Shit. They can stop me now. Uh oh, uh oh. No, get up, get up. I don't think I can parry him anymore. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, I couldn't I couldn't dodge for whatever reason.
I am getting my ass kicked now. Try this. He has a lot of unblockable attacks now. Like that. I just took that whole combo to the face. He hit me and I didn't even do anything. I fucked up the first part of the second phase because I kept trying to get parries instead of just blocking. Oh, but I guess that was it. I thought there had to be a third phase. I kneel before no man. I really needed to block more and just hold it instead of trying to parry. Not exactly the souvenir I had in mind. It took me a while, but I realized something. You're right. I am afraid. <sighs> afraid of accepting the fact that maybe I'm not really cut out for the job I'm expected to do. But hey, at least I'm not walking away empty-handed. I'd better get going. I may be all muscle and no metal, but I'm gonna keep protecting Noct. The only way I know how. Hmm. Spoken like a true shield of the king. Huh? Fear and doubt beget death alone. He who averts his gaze from his own faults cannot himself a true shield call. But you, having made peace with your inner self, have proven you are worthy. The Chosen King should be so fortunate as to have a man like yourself serving at his side. You mean... And with this glaive, I entrust my power to you. <clears throat> Where did sword. you? Taken from the young man who impressed me with his strength of will. It was with this very blade he stole from me my arm. 
But... I can't accept this. If he still walks among the living, a man of his metal will have doubtless transcended attachment to mere material possessions. <laughs> You're probably right. In that case, don't mind if I do. Now, hasten forth, with mind unclouded by doubt and will unmoved by fear. The last king of Lucis is ill fit to fight without his shield. The last? Thanks again. Like you're implying there won't be another one? You made it. Sure did. And so quickly. I'm impressed. Brought this back with me too. Figured you might get a kick out of it. <laughs> I wondered where I put that thing. Oh, so he took off Gilgamesh's arm. Keep it. <laughs> Makes for a better souvenir than that scar. That's probably why Gilgamesh let him go, because he, he managed to take his arm. You know, he mentioned he lost his arm in battle with a real hot-headed young guy back in the day. That's so. Whoever it was left a lasting impression on him. Talked about how the guy had the strongest will he'd ever seen. Takes more than will to complete the trial. You need to wield your weapon with a primal finesse. If you fail to prove your might, you get cast out empty-handed. I don't know. He didn't seem to think the guy would let it bother him. Said the guy's too old to care about material things anymore. If he's still alive. <laughs> Gladio. Huh? I hope you feel more confident in light of your success today. Few men can lay claim to such an accomplishment. Not even Core the Immortal. Yeah, but I didn't earn myself a badass nickname like he did. Still, I'm glad I went through with it. I can finally say I'm truly ready to fulfill my duty. Good. Well, I guess this shield better mosey on back to his king. Wouldn't want him to get scared without me. <laughs> Okay, so that's what he did while we were all knocked and Ignis and Prompto were at the Vesper Pool with Aranea. That was fun. So that's how you got it. What do you think? Very perpendicular. Really compliments the one you got when you saved Knock from that bully. Yeah, only difference is this time. I ended up taking a pretty bad beating, too. Uh, not unlike the licking the Marshal received back when he was a lad. Must have had a lot of guts to go up against Gilgamesh back then. Yeah, Dad said he used to be a real firecracker. The more you know. Hmm. If the Blade Master sequestered himself during the Founder King's reign, then he's haunted those halls for some two millennia. That's a long time. All those years waiting for the Chosen King to arise? You sure know how to take your sweet old time. What can I say? I'm worth the wait. Give me a break! And I as well. <sighs> Just because you got a shield to protect you now doesn't mean you get to slack off. But if you do, I'll be ready. The end. That was fun. I did it in exactly one hour. 35 seconds. Um, on normal. That last fight, that second phase, I think I could have done better, but... That was fun. I mean, it was short. Uh, oh. Um, if you, uh... Oh, unlock score attack mode. Unlock the final trial. 
acquired the Genji Blade, learned the Duel Master Glaive Art. Uh, perform Maelstrom, then press triangle to unleash a devastating combo. Um, I don't remember how much this DLC costed when it came out. But, uh, I mean, as part of the Royal Edition, it's fine, because, you know, you didn't have to pay anything for it. But, I probably would have been kind of pissed off if I paid money for this. But it was a fun little DLC. The nice combat tweaks were pretty fun. It mixes it up from just the normal game. Anyway, that was episode Gladiolus. And I am out of here for the night. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you.